Hello, and welcome to the Pastor's Corner. Today we will read 1 Peter 1, 3 and 4 from the Christian Standard Bible. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. What does it mean that God has given us a new birth into a living hope? Romans 6 states, Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. When a person comes to God through faith in the work of Jesus Christ on the cross, his or her old sinful nature dies with Christ on the cross, and that old sinful nature is buried with Christ. Then he or she is raised with a new nature that has been freed from the bonds to sin and is free to follow the Lord God Almighty in faithfulness and truth. He or she is raised with a new nature, which is a new spiritual birth through which he or she has a living hope. And what is this living hope? Those who have this new birth know that they are his children and that they will be with him forever, no matter what happens to them on this earth. This was a great hope for the readers of Peter's letter who were going through difficult struggles, trials, and persecution. And it's a great hope for those of us who have this new birth because we know that nothing that happens on this earth can affect our relationship with God, our future destiny with him, and our heavenly inheritance. What is this heavenly inheritance? Peter uses three adjectives to describe it. Imperishable, undefiled, unfading. Imperishable. Think of food when you think of perishable. It goes bad after a few days. It starts to stink, doesn't it? Clothing and shoes also perish. They tear and rip and get worn out. But the inheritance that Peter is speaking about will never wear out, it will not spoil, and it will not rot away. Think of pots and pans or a new car when you think of defilement. Our pots and pans get stains on them, and sometimes they rust. Our cars rust from the winter weather. But undefiled means the inheritance will not get stained or soiled, and it won't rust. Finally, think of flowers when you think of the word fading. Flowers are beautiful when they're growing. But after a while, or after we pick them and place them in a vase in the house, their beauty starts to fade. They wilt and eventually dry up. But unfading means that the inheritance won't decay and the beauty of it won't tarnish or disappear after some time, like what happens with flowers. Peter says in verse 5 that this inheritance is being kept or guarded for us. Therefore, no one can steal it from us. How often do we worry about our possessions in our house or our car? We lock our doors and put anti-theft devices on our cars so no one can steal our possessions. And yet the robber can still break a window or break down our front door and steal our valuable possessions. The inheritance that Peter is speaking about is being guarded by God's power, and no one can steal this inheritance from him. Have you repented of your sins and put your faith in Jesus' work on the cross? If you have, then God the Father has adopted you as his son or daughter, and you have this glorious hope in, in an imperishable, undefiled, and unfading inheritance. The inheritance that we receive as children of God is not a physical inheritance which we receive here and now, because physical inheritances spoil, rust, rot, decay, and tarnish eventually. And someone can always steal someone's inheritance. No, instead our inheritance is his kingdom, to be in his presence forever. God the Father is keeping it for us, and it will be revealed to us when Jesus comes again as long as we are faithful to him. Where is your hope? Is it in accumulating possessions here on this earth? Or is your hope in a future heavenly inheritance waiting for those who are putting their confidence in God? Let us thank God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ for giving us new birth and a glorious inheritance. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your great mercy to us. Thank you that through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have been born again and given an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, and being kept in heaven for us. 
May you, Lord God, be glorified in all we do and say, Amen.